This is Eric from North Shore Apartments, 925 Forest Avenue, unit number one east. Okay, so we're walking into the front door. And you can see here, it's a large one bedroom in Southeast Devonston. All right, so you can see you have a real good sized living space here. There's your dining room. If you go to the other direction from when you walk in, you have your bedroom. We'll, we'll get to that. But right now, we're just going to spend some time in the living space. So real nice hardwood floors, high ceilings, got a new windows. All right. So this apartment doesn't get any as much direct sun this time of the day, which is kind of like midday. Um, but it is still a nice bright apartment as you can see. It's more indirect sun because you're facing north, but you do get some east in the morning and some west later on because of the way the bay windows are. Okay. So again, nice hardwood floors, good size living space. Okay, I'm going to show you the living space from a different perspective. Gives you another, and there's a decorative fireplace. Okay. And then a third perspective, that's where you walk in. That closet door is just, it's just for uh, a utility door. So it's not, you know, really even makes sense opening it up, but it's just for the central air unit. This, build, this building has central air for each unit, which is so unusual. So you do have central air in your apartment. You pay for your heat, but you do get central air. Okay. So there's the perspective of the living room. I'm going to do it one more time so you don't feel like I'm rushing through it. Okay. And there's your dining room. So this is the, a, a real nice open floor plan. Okay, so we're going to go into the dining room now. You got a ceiling fan. Again, it's the whole apartment's hardwood floor, so you face the west. So, I mean, uh, not west, north. Um, sorry about that. Okay. But it's a good sized dining room. Could easily fit a six person table. Okay, we'll show it to you from a different perspective. Connects to your kitchen, which is where we'll go next. Okay. But you've got a lot of room. You can even put a desk right over there, which is kind of nice. So it's not in your living room, and you, you know, but it's still a lot of space in here. And your dining room could be also be used in an office. Okay, one more time. Okay. All right, now we're gonna turn around here and go into the kitchen. This kitchen's nice and large. So you got nice white cabinets, newer stove and dishwasher, lots more cabinets on this side. Okay. So it's lots of storage, lots of counter space. Okay. Get some more stuff here. Okay, a lot more uh, uh, cabinet space. Another ceiling fan, which is nice. Nice newer gas stove. Nice newer fridge. Okay, got a nice stainless steel sink. Good water pressure. Okay, again, gas stove. That entrance back there will take you out to the laundry and the storage. Okay. Okay, so here's the kind of kitchen from a lot of different perspectives. Okay. Show it to you one more time. Okay. Now, back into the living room. Have like a dressing area here with a lot of nice closets. Okay. Mostly just shelves, but it's good closet space here. Okay. Alright. Now you got your bathroom over here. It's a little bit more basic, but it's still nice and clean. Okay. Got a nice deep top. You got good water pressure. Good water pressure here. Okay. 
It's a nice big bathroom. Again, I wouldn't call it anything really up to date, but I'd call it a nice bathroom. Okay, nice clean bathroom. Okay, and now you get your bedroom. Unfortunately, there's no power in here, so I can't get, um, there, you know, it isn't a real bright bedroom because you, you are facing kind of a, another uh, building, but it's a good sized bedroom. You can easily fit a queen size bed. Okay, and then you have a nice big closet. Okay, and then you have it another way here. Okay, and then can I show you right there is where I would fit the bed right there. You could easily fit a queen size bed. All right, so not the brightest bedroom, but it's a good size bedroom. I mean, not that you need a real bright bedroom because it is somewhere you're sleeping, so. But it's a good size, fits a queen size bed, in nice shape. All right, so we're gonna kind of walk through it again. You do also have an intercom system, talk, listen, enter, okay? So we're gonna go back through the living space, okay? Dining room over there. I'll show you the living room from another perspective, okay? Here's your dining room, okay? It's a good picture of the dining room. Shows you how big it is, okay? Kitchen, double-sided, so if you like to cook, this is a good kitchen. Because you have cabinets on this side, lots of counter space, another, another, you know, around a more counter space, lots of upper cabinets, newer stove and fridge, and a dishwasher, so it's a nice, if you like to cook, it's a good kitchen for that. Okay? Okay. And we're gonna go back in here. You got those royal closets here. Again, the bathroom's a little basic, but it is big and clean. Okay. And you have your bedroom. Okay, that's a good perspective of the bedroom because it shows you, this gives you a little bit more of the light in it. And it's a nice, it's a good sized bedroom for sure. And then we're gonna end up with the living space. All right, we got everything at least twice.